Hi guys, my name is David Dispinat, and today we're going to be taking a look at the VX18M by Viltrox. Now this is a fluid head tripod, it's around $140. I grabbed it because I needed another fluid head. My old fluid head tripod fell apart, it was time to upgrade, it was an old cheap one. Um, and things have come a lot further along. I paid $140 for that tripod years ago, and the fluid head tripods have gotten a lot better in the last four or five years. Um, so you get a lot more for $140 now. Um, but mainly the reason I really needed another tripod, especially a fluid head tripod, was weddings. Um, I do a lot of first shooter video weddings um, where I don't even have a second shooter completely. So I have to do, I, what I do is I run two cameras. I run one on a tripod, one on a gimbal, and then for the ceremony and other specific events, I will uh, jump back and forth with some like monopods or a slider or something like that, depending on what I need for the shot or like a slide pod, which is really nice. And the slide pod actually works on this really well. Um, it's a mobilized monopod that also works as a slider um, and it's motorized. It's really cool. But this tripod can definitely handle the weight of the slide pod. So I wanted something also that could handle a lot more weight than like what I've got my man Frodo 055 tripod that we're shooting on right now. It doesn't hold as much weight. And, uh, and I wanted something that was a lot more secure that is harder to get knocked over. So if I've got it set off to the side, hopefully someone doesn't run into it and knock it over where like a monopod or a lighter tripod could easily get knocked over and hurt one of my cameras while I'm shooting and the other, and while I'm shooting with one camera and then the other camera is just waiting to be used. So I decided to reach out to B&H and grab this tripod to test it out. And honestly, it is an amazing fluid head tripod for $140, but I have some serious drawbacks on it for the simple fact of what I personally need it for. Now, again, I'm getting this mostly for wedding videography. Um, I shot a couple conferences with this tripod and it was fantastic because the tripod is actually about a half a foot taller than I am. I'm, this tripod goes to about six and a half feet. Um, and I'm six foot tall. So the one nice thing is that I'm able to, like at a conference, I can, if pe even if people stand up, I'm able to shoot above them, right over their head, and I can actually see um, the, the speaker at the conference. So I really, really like that, how high this gets. That's one of my favorite things. I also love it for ceremonies when they said, everyone stand up, the bride's walking down the aisle. Guess what? This can get above everybody standing up and, and, and capture the aisle as well. So it's really, really nice. The biggest thing that I found with the issue is that I was constantly fixing, uh, getting, this, getting my, my camera uh, properly level all the time. So even though that this is tightened down, and let's say I tighten everything down here, so everything's tightened down. If I try to move this, it starts to move the actual piece down here, and then I've got to re, I've got to go back in, look at the ball, and I've got to reset it. If I'm setting on, if I'm shooting on uneven ground, that is an issue. So a lot of times I walk up to set this tripod up, I forget to unlock the pan. Okay, I forget to unlock the pan. So when I forget to unlock the pan, I go to pan and then I throw the whole thing off and then I've got to unscrew it, reset it, and I need to make sure I relock the pan because if you don't relock the pan when you're trying to, <laughs> trying to tighten it up, it's going to start panning on you. Um, now this is a common problem um, with this style of, let me tighten that down, of fluid head. Um, and let me... There's the tilt. However, the really nice thing is, is that the tilt will hold. So like say I have a 7200 on here and I know I need to pan and tilt during the shot, but I know like right this second, it's right where I want it and I'm gonna go grab my gimbal and get a, a secondary shot. I can just leave my 7200 and everything unlocked so that when I walk back over, I can go right into shooting um, or moving where, um, and it will hold, it will hold that position. So if I'm shooting and it's, it's not gonna move, um, I really like that. And if it is, if the camera is too heavy and it does move, you can kind of do like a half tighten down a little bit and it will hold it. So I really like that. Has a nice smooth movement. Um, it works really, really well. The biggest thing for me um, is that I felt like when I was doing weddings, it was just too much to carry around and I was constantly trying to get my level right for different shots, which was frustrating. However, this is a great fluid head tripod. So if you guys are looking for a cheap, 
solid fluid head tripod. I would seriously look at this thing. It does, it does a really, really good job. It's just not made for run and gun, in my opinion. And, and this style, this style of tripod really just isn't made for run and gun, period, in my opinion. So, um, so what I've done is I've ordered just a regular, I guess you could call it almost a photography tripod. And then it's, uh, the actual fluid head, uh, will, will just screw in. A lot of, uh, man photos do that. Um, therefore I don't have to worry about relocking this all the freaking time. Um, the other thing I really, really like about this when I needed an accessory, you have an accessory piece right here. This is awesome. So I would hook up a, and I'm just gonna right here. So I would hook in like monitors and stuff and I can hook in an accessory piece, monitors, lights, whatever. I just use my magic arm here and I'm able to hook in like a monitor. So I have a nice monitor off to the side of my camera, which I really, really love the option of having that accessory piece. Um, and I think there's just one, so they just have one accessory piece. But most newer uh, fluid head tripods will have that accessory piece. Uh, as far as taking it on and off, of course, it locks until you push the red button once you've loosened it up. And it locks in really good. Uh, it uses the Manfrotto uh, plate. Uh, I have switched over to using uh, Manfrotto plates for everything. So I have quick release plates on everything now. Um, everything's Manfrotto, so that way I can just have one plate on a camera and I can jump in between any device that I need to. Uh, be gimbal, be tripod, uh, be slider. So that's really, really nice. However, at $140, this is an excellent tripod. As always, there'll be a link over here in the description, a uh, card, and of course a link at the end of this video. So you can personally go check out this tripod. Uh, it has really nice legs. We'll do a close-up of the legs. The, uh, the legs work really well as um, far as gripping into the ground uh it's it's nice wide base for the legs which i really like so if i was doing more conferences or more uh less run and gun to where i'm just setting up and i'm going to be in a very stationary position for multiple hours shooting or i'm going to be moving from one stationary position to another um and i'm not and you know again at weddings i'm one guy two to three cameras and i'm bouncing back between the cameras to get the shots I don't have time to sit here and get this evenly level every single time. I need something that's a little bit easier to work with um, for weddings. So this does not work for weddings for me. However, like I said, when I saw conferences, uh, I did two or three um, conferences in the last couple of weeks while I've been testing this out. And this was fantastic because it got so tall and it was always a very nice steady shot. And I always got, if I needed to pan, or I needed to tilt. My pan and tilt is really, really smooth on, on this uh, fluid head. I'm very impressed with it. Um, and you can put your handle on either side if you want. I mean, this is very common stuff with any fluid head. You should have that. Uh, again, though, if you forget, you've got everything tightened down, you go to pan and tilt. So you've got an important shot. And this is partially operator error if you forget this. I, I forgot at, at a wedding, I just don't think about it. Uh, and I would go to pan and tilt and now now you've got everything, so everything's locked in. Now you've got everything all over the place and you've got to go back down here, make sure your pan is tightened down and then you've got to get your bubble and you've got to readjust. And now it is readjusted and we can go back to panning and tilting. So that was kind of the drawback for this. It does come with a really nice bag to put it in. However, I just have a large, uh, I think it's Cowboy Studio or newer brand bag um, that I put four or five tripods in. So uh, when I go to a wedding, I need at least a minimum of three tripods, a monopod, uh, my slide pod, and then uh, I'll use my GoPro as my third camera at a ceremony. So again, $140. If you're looking for a fluid head tripod, I would seriously consider this. There'll be a link at the end of the video. As always, guys, we'll catch you next time. You guys have made it this far. If you want to check out our newest video, it will be right here. If you want to check out the product, it will be down here. If you do happen to click on it and purchase it, it does give us a little bit of commission and that helps me a lot keep making these videos. And of course, guys, right down below, go and leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, follow along. We'll catch you next time.